talking with you, not just at you, hopefully, about uh, Japan's democracy diplomacy. Thinking about how Japan, over the last really 10 years plus, uh, really predating Prime Minister Abe, but very much having to do with his, his term in 2006 or 7 and now today, um, how Japan has worked to diversify beyond the U.S.-Japan alliance. Uh, and really become a much greater contributor to regional and global security and stability, uh, not by in any way hedging against the U.S., but rather by uh, uh, essentially normalizing its strategic ties with really some of the world's most important powers uh, in, in the Indo-Pacific and also in Europe. Uh, and I think our conclusion broadly is that this fundamentally reinforces strategic stability in Asia more broadly and also reinforces the U.S.-Japan alliance. The, uh, I think one of the most important characteristics of Japan's relations with Europe is that it is about cooperation with advanced, mature democracies, sharing values. So the, of course there some people are saying that uh, now in the days of Europe is gone and uh, rising powers are becoming more important, that's for sure, but there are still many things that uh, advanced countries need to deal with. The, the primary objective of Japan's diplomacy today is to maintain a liberal international order. And to do so, we need uh, not only the United States, but also other regional powers who have interest in the status quo. And uh, naturally, the India and Australia are the, our natural partners, so that's why uh, we have been trying to strengthen our partnerships with two, those two countries. Between Japan and South Asia we have a very tight economic relationship and that de facto relation, uh, kind of alliance between the economics between Southeast Asia and Japan has to be maintained by both. So Southeast Asian economy is very much crucial for Japan, Japanese economy and also the Japanese economy is crucial for Southeast Asia. So the core pillar is, is that how to maintain this relationship, how to kind of manage the risks that kind of derail this uh, the economic relationship. That's number one. And I think number two, the cooperation pillars is about the uh, disaster management. I think this also, sh we share a huge amount of disasters. I mean, this 10 years, um, you know, we both had tsunamis, we both have a lot of typhoons, earthquakes, and, and we, we, we kind of develop a lot of common uh, expertise to how to manage this. So in the era that, that the governments have to work in risk management, um, this is what kind of a core feel that we need to cooperate together. We appreciate Southeast Asian help when Japanese were in difficulty and we are always ready to help the Southeast Asian in the best possible way. And we all both have a national consensus about that. Next year, the 2015, is the 50th anniversary of Japan uh, South Korea normalization. And uh, perhaps we can uh, celebrate uh, this year as a, a positive year to overcome the vicious circles uh, regarding the history issues. And perhaps Prime Minister Abe will take initiative to make, uh, uh, by making a statement on history uh, and to, uh, to have uh, better relations with uh, Korea. Japan has a sort of inherent proclivity to go bilateral. So dealing with countries is seen to be easier than talking to NATO or the EU. So the relations with the UK and, and the relations with France, I think, are likely to go faster than EU-Japan or NATO-Japan. But uh, as for NATO, I think the the level of interest in Japan on NATO is quite high. The, the Prime Minister Abe is very much committed to, to, to developing relations with NATO, cooperation with NATO. But uh, the, the one of the things here is that NATO-Japan cooperation 
over the past several years has been very much driven by cooperation in the context of Afghanistan. Though Japan didn't send troops there, but uh, various civilian cooperation projects uh, have been taking place between NATO and Japan in Afghanistan. So, but now NATO is the, 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 the NATO's operation in Afghanistan is coming to an end. So the Afghanistan is not going to be a sort of huge uh, uh, an important point of cooperation between NATO and Japan. So I think we need to, to look beyond Afghanistan in terms of NATO-Japan cooperation. Mm -hmm.